Leighton Baines insists it is time for Everton to make their summer spending count. Ronald Koeman has splashed out £96 million on building a squad to challenge for glory, and that could rise past £140 million if and when he eventually succeeds in prizing Jalfi Sigurdsson away from Swansea. Koeman, backed by the financial muscle of majority shareholder Farhat Moshiri, is serious about bringing the good times back to Goodison Park. They finished as the best of the rest last season, claiming seventh spot but having brought in Jordan Pickford, David Klaassen, Sandro Ramirez, Michael Keane, Cuco Martina, and Wayne Rooney, Komen is setting his sights higher. Even the impending exit of Ross Barkley, who Komen insists has played his last game for the club after refusing to sign a new deal, will not dampen the manager's mood. And as far as boyhood Everton fan Baines is concerned, success means finding a way to break into that top six and winning a first trophy since 1995. That is the ultimate goal, that is what the manager has come here to do the left back said, that is the ultimate goal. That is what the manager has come here to do. It is to push us on to another level. During my time, we've been beneath the level needed. We've come close a few times, we reached a cup final and a couple of semi-finals, had a couple of trips to Wembley, but just fallen at the final hurdle. To win a trophy is the ultimate goal, it would mean a great deal to all of us. That's going to be the objective as part of this project that the manager has come in and taken on, obviously with the new owner and stuff. They are the objectives that we are starting to work towards. We understand the task is always tough because everyone else is spending money as well. It is nice that we can go out and do it but everyone else is doing it as well and we've already got a bit of a gap to bridge, but we are working on it and it's all positive. Everton's task could be made tougher by a long run in the Europa League, although that is far from guaranteed after Thursday's edgy 1-0 first leg win over Slovakia inside Ruzombrok in their third qualifying round tie. Komen's side could be out of Europe by next Thursday night. But if they go all the way to next May's final in Lyon, it will add another 19 matches to their fixture list. It's lot of football isn't it? said Baines who scored at Goodison Park with a deflected shot. I think we're pretty much prepared for that. The squad is a lot bigger. We've got boys who didn't make the squad on Thursday and every one of them would get in other Premier League teams. With that, there'll be times when there is rotation. It is the manager's job to juggle the Thursday to Sunday schedule and he has got a staff to help him with it. Baines believes the balance of the squad is just right to help Everton deal with any fixture pile-ups, with a mixture of youth and experience, and a bedrock of players who grew up supporting the club, including Rooney. The former England captain said he used to wear Everton pyjamas when he was at Manchester United, and Baines sees that kind of passion for the club as vital. The club has always had that down the years, he said, when I first came here, there was Alan Stubbs, Leon Osman, Tony Hibbert, people like that. Now there are players such as me and Wayne, local lads, as well as the young players such as Tom Davis and John Joe Kenny, who are all fans of the club. Then there are people such as Phil J. Jekka, who have been here 10 years and know the club inside out, the ethos of the football club. Just being around Goodison Park, you quickly get to understand what the club is about and there is plenty of that still left in the dressing room despite the money we have been spending.